Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Today's lesson we're looking at summarizing. Very important academic writing skill. As we discussed last time, you will have to do a lot of write reading for school and also a lot of writing. The neat thing about summarizing, you can read a lot of information, put it into a very small space. The result get an idea, get the important ideas, show that you read the text, also show a little what you think is important. Teachers will ask you to do this. So first here's the legal stuff. This one is going to be science and biology based. Uh, next week I plan to do some things with technology. We'll see how that works out. But for this one we're going to look at how to review a science text. And the big thing is down here, how do we put a lot of information into a very small space? That's a summary. So here's an example. Let's say I say, hello, you. What's the last movie you saw? I'm going to bet the last movie you saw was 90 minutes long, 120 minutes long, I don't want you to tell me everything about it. <laughs> a good summary? Oh, I saw Divergent. A lot of good action. Oh, I saw the Transformers. A lot of running around and robots. So that's the difference between summarizing and paraphrasing. Next week we'll look at paraphrasing, where you would take someone else's idea, put in your own words. Summarizing. When do we do this? Lots of times you do this when writing school papers. When writing research, if you have to read a whole book, but you only have to put in a, but you only have about five pages on your paper. Five pages, I need a book here. 200 some word book. Whew, how many is this? Yeah, we're looking at 360 pages. Wow. <laughs> so if I read this book, just write a summary on it. I'd read the whole thing. It's a book about Mao and the Chinese Revolution. Okay. If I want to, I could add a little more. It's about what well, affected the common people. Good. Now we know what it's about. That's a summary. That's simple. So condensed. Here's a great word. Condensed. That means made much smaller or shortened version of something longer. Four basics, four things to know. You need a good topic sentence. You need one point. Here's what I'm summarizing. Here's what I'm talking about. Okay. So that movie example, I saw Divergent. It was an action movie. It had good looking people in it. Action movie, good looking people, support. You can include a final thought. I thought Divergent, not a good movie. Was it the Hunger Games? Cut out unnecessary information. We don't need to know everything. We don't need to know who directed it. We don't have to know a lot of details. So it's a great way to test reading, listening comprehension. We will have this on the benchmark. You'll have a paragraph. Just get the most important parts. You get a lot of information very quickly. And it'll show how well you can write by putting big ideas into a small space. So here's an example. This is from biology. What about what is life? What are living things? Those of you who missed Gian Giulio's class, I know you were just doing this. <laughs> what makes a living thing a living thing? So this first part, you know life when you see it. Nice main idea. Perhaps your class takes a field trip to a local state park to collect samples, surrounded by trees, stream with rocks. Ah, okay, we really don't need a lot of these details here. <laughs> so here's our point. How do we define life? What makes it different? We, well, living things use energy. Do they move? Not always from place to place, but they grow, they get shorter, they reproduce. You can determine whether it needs food or water. So this one, we could just say, how we summarize all this? 
We don't need this bit about the frogs. Don't need this bit about the trees. Keep it very simple. Living things have common characteristics. Here's another part we'll go into in our live classes. If you need help, we can work on that. So, the main idea, okay, living things are different from non-living things. Some of the most important points, hey, living things move, living things grow. So things we don't need to mention, talked about algae, talked about streams, talked about a lot of things, just examples. We can cut that out. So here's one more on pill bugs. If you come to the live class, we'll go over this, otherwise we don't need to. So how do you write a summary? Just read it. What's the main idea? What is the supporting one? If you're one of those kinesthetic learners, you got a K on the FARC exam, make some lists. Writers, you can too. If you're one of those auditory people, say it aloud. What makes this important? If you're a reading person, okay, I read it, closing my eyes, what do I remember? And from there, can think of different words, synonyms, words that mean the same thing. And you're usually okay to write from there. So that's it for summarizing. There are some questions down below. And you will have to do a summary of the last movie you saw. Any questions, we'll go over this in live class. So, And I also will be available through BBIM. So until then, adios.